Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, we're heading back into the uh, the final city in the world in uh, Dying Light 2 tonight to uh, continue our gameplay a little bit. Had a lot of fun playing with this uh, between last night and today. Uh, we made some progress, advanced the story a little bit, got some of those fancy things to upgrade our character's uh, health and stamina, but I want to try and get some more of those uh, injections, uh, what are they, suppression injections or something? Uh, see if we can try to get some more of those. We can uh, make ourselves a little bit stronger. Uh, we'll probably want to advance the plot a little bit too, so we can start to move towards uh, some higher tier items. And I really want to get my hands on one of those uh, crazy, like, parachute, aerial, flying thingamabobbers. Those will be cool. Anyway, welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And especially thanks to all of our top tier mistakes are made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Uh, we're back in the uh, the church here. I don't remember what they call it exactly, but it's the former church anyway. I feel bad. My uh, my fancy knife that uh, we were playing with earlier today that was just devastating stuff is already down below half life. It's not gonna last all that much longer. We're gonna have to keep an eye out for uh, for some more good weapons. Ooh, and speaking of rusty mace. 37 damage, uh, that compares to, so this is the fancy one we have our mods on, it's 42, but the next one down is 39, so even, uh, even 37 is pretty good. The one thing I've noticed in, in Dying Light 2 relative to Dying Light 1 is that there's a lot of good stuff at the vendors in terms of weapons. In Dying Light 1, every time I went to the vendor, there was almost never anything there worth buying. It was always like, the good thing that I might want at the time was out of reach because I hadn't leveled up enough to get it. And then by the time I leveled up, it wasn't there anymore, and there was just junk, and there was something else that was out of reach of me again. A bit different now. Hey, new here. Like your videos. Thanks, Brendan. Welcome. About 20 minutes in game on a last-gen console. I haven't run into any bugs yet. Nice. Yeah, I did notice there was a patch uh, when I was loading the game up tonight. It looks like the day one patch is out. This game is live now, actually. It, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was at 7 p.m. Eastern time, so like two hours ago that this went live uh, for everyone to play it. You can get it on console and also on PC. On PC, it's available in Steam as well as in the Epic Game Store. If you do happen to buy it on the Epic Game Store, though, and use either my creator code, which is Cryptic Fox Gaming, or the link in the description, then that helps support the channel at the same time as you get the game. I feel like I should buy this, but I think I'm going to hold off because I've, I've got a set of other weapons right now anyway. Uh, got a few decent things we can use that will, will hold us for the moment, I think. Uh, we'll see if we have the opportunity to do any more upgrades. Because this guy, for the most part, I mean, unless he gets some more, some more mods in here, I don't really see anything here he's getting that I really want. But let's, uh, let's do some more upgrading. I've heard that, uh, upgrading the lockpicks is a good idea. Because it's, uh, it makes it easier to pick. So this, like, increases the lockpick durability to medium, so it will break less often. Allowing you to maybe to pick locks a little quicker, and I gather if you if you get this built up enough, you can actually, uh, yeah. Next, see, look, next upgrade is force open easy locks. So if you have easy locks, uh, you're coming up to an easy lock. Instead of picking it, you can use two lock picks and just crack it open, which is supposed to be awesome. <laughs> I mean, if we keep upgrading that, maybe we'll we'll get into the lock boxes a little faster and save time on them. Hey Brian, how's it going, man? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing better. I'm not uh, not as sick anymore. My, I still cough a lot, but uh, my uh, my voice is uh, a little bit better than it was anyway. You heard? Let's go find this Maya lady who we were supposed to find a while ago, but I've been slacking. Actually, I think we're we're right before nightfall too. I think, or is it sunrise? Is it sunrise just now? Maybe the day just started. That's probably what it is. I dropped it in your stream a little bit, uh, Brian, but I didn't want to watch too long because I didn't want to spoil anything on myself. But uh, I saw you were, uh, were kicking some butt on the uh, on the Dying Light 2 streams. That's a good job. Uh, all right, so we got to go over here to Maya. Off to the left. I wonder what they patched, actually. I didn't uh, I didn't check for patch notes or anything for the, for the day one patch. I don't know whether they would have bothered posting it for day one, but... You guys you get access to the two weapons for the pre-order people got. Uh, I don't think so. I had one when I first logged into the game where you were supposed to you were supposed to match up or like a log in on like a Techland account and then you put in this code and then it was supposed to give you access to this uh, this, this limited edition sword or something. Um, 
But I had like some kind of an error when I tried to do it and it wasn't working, so I don't know. Ah, right on the car. I didn't really mean to leave all the way down. Ah, I missed. Alright, I guess we're taking the street. Fine. Inhibitor container detected. Ooh, inhibitor container detected. I wish it gave some indication of the direction of the inhibitor container, because there's one close enough that it set it off, but I don't know where it would be. It's got to be in like one of the buildings that's immediately right here, maybe, right? No access to this building, though. Don't like the look of that. Oh, hey guys. This ain't gonna end up for you, asshole. Oh! Fred's <laughs> dead. He can break it to you. <laughs> this machete rocks. Gonna be sad when it dies. We have another one that's uh, that's also gold that would be pretty good, but I am liking this one. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? <laughs> Not there. Duck. Inhibitor container detected. Inhibitor container detected. <laughs> oh, it is nighttime. Just about anyway. All right, maybe the inhibitor container's up here. If there's like a window or something, we can get into this building. So there are supposedly like a few of them in the in the GRA Fury facilities, but then there's also the uh, just some like apparently just hidden around in different places. But they say like off the beaten path. Oh god, there's a lot, a lot of sentries just came out. Maybe we should stay up and high. They come crawling out of those like basement windows or something there. Inhibitor container detected. Need to know where it is. It won't be on a rooftop, I wouldn't think. Hey, over needs Project Zomboid stream. Oh yeah, you saw you said that multiplayer game going for a while on Project Zomboid. Now they're doing pretty good. They're well built up. Okay, I get it. Inhibitor container detected. 45 meters, 42 meters, 40 meters. 39, 38. Away from it. So it's over this way. Oh, maybe it's inside this building right here. Feeling the one where I'm looking for Maya. <laughs> 17, 16, 15 meters, 14. Uh, I get it. Eight meters away. Four meters away. Always oh, these zombies in here, man. Oh, she, it's like a, I think Maya is fighting them. There it is. Sure, indeed. Found it. <laughs> Hold on, Maya. We'll help you in a second. This is more important. What well, the noise? They sound like they were running all over the place, but there's like nobody here. You kid. Your deal. Hey, kids. Um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. What? You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. Where'd you find the Lazarus? How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. 
We searched him. And I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. You repair by changing mods. You can repair by adding mods to the item, but I don't know if you can change it once you've got it on there. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's he what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing. But for 500. Yeah, <laughs> negotiate. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. <laughs> that's quite a markdown. 500 down to 10. <laughs> All right, kid. Thanks for the brass knuckles. Now we got to figure out uh, who was the one that committed the murder in the first place. That's a cool sign. The a flashlight. Will survive. Well, then in that, if that's true, then I'm doomed. Oh, I got a mural. Sorry, kid, I'm stealing your artwork. Apparently it's a, it's an artifact. Who knew? Boop. <laughs> Hey, hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. He'll be near Metro Station. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I got Sunday shoes. Not gonna look all fine and fancy. Another brother sucker punches you and robs you, yeah. <laughs> Nails you with the groin punch and you're down for the count. Alright, where are we here? Um, I gotta go all the way over to here. I, th I kinda wanna try this thing, if we can get over there quick enough for it to still be nighttime. That was the tier 4 uh, center we went into that had the injectors in it. And actually, while well, I'm at it... Yes, we have more injector available. Let's do another stamina upgrade. Ooh. Yeah, Tic Tacs, it would run on the wall. Press and hold space while jumping toward a flat surface. Uh, we can also do far jump, letting us jump farther. Just nice. Press E while jumping over an obstacle. Oh boy, that'll be interesting trying to time that, I guess. Leak running increases the speed while navigating tricky obstacles. We can do uh, jumping from a higher height without taking damage. Or dart, we get a speed boost, which could be handy for making some long jumps. Let's try this, uh, we'll grab the wall running thing here, maybe. Oh, well. I don't have a parkour point. Never mind. <laughs> it made it accessible. Can't buy anything right now, but at least it's accessible. And we got higher stamina now, which is good. Uh, okay, we're going this way, I guess. Knife is just tearing them apart. I should get the uh I should get my hands on the flame tip mod and see if I can swap the mod out on this thing. Maybe we'll uh we'll swap out weapons to this other knife for now. So I don't break the uh one I already have modded, and we'll see if we can actually swap the mods under or not, and, and repair. I, I have a feeling it's not going to let us, because that, that might be overpowered, but... Are dodging. Yeah. 
Look how this one forced you to go around at night, unlike the first one. Yeah, well, the first one, they, I feel like there was, uh, like, you were just constantly having to sneak around to avoid those things that you couldn't kill, like... I've only seen one of those things so far. And it was only, it was in that factory when I, or in the GRE facility, rather, when I tried to go in during the daytime. A bit of a different scenario. Yeah, am I really that far away? No, that's... Oh, I have a marker way out there. Ah, oh, come on. There. That's where I should be going. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. Use a Lazarus on him? I'm guessing I'm not allowed to use a Lazarus at all. One of these glowy, glowy shrooms. Have you had your magic mushrooms today? Those magic mushrooms. Oh. One of those shouter guys down there. Creamers or whatever they're called. Freakers. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. All right, they do. Did you know that the city nearly burned to the ground? We'll keep accidentally hitting the uh, A button or something for some reason. Is the way I'm like rolling my hand on the keyboard or what? Howlers, yes, that's what they're called. Thank you. Whatever they are, they're definitely loud. Uh, got a long way to go here still. I'm not gonna have enough time to do this, I don't think. Help! I think I was doing the yelling. He's like, help, I'm turning. He probably needs the, uh, glowy shrooms. I don't think we're gonna get over there in time tonight to go in. We'll, we'll run out of time to even go through and search at all. Too far away. Hey, dude. You're welcome. Not clear what I gave him exactly, but... My wife would have killed me if I turned. Thanks. Spoken like a true married man. Shrooms. <laughs> yeah, they're they're called uh, called howlers, not Karens. Understandable mistake, though. Oh, yes, yeah, so we found a swanky place. the fridge they just walked up and held whatever they needed in front of them and torture them idiots <laughs> you can't get uh you can't get the fancy xp and their earnings and stuff by uh by not helping people that doesn't work trust me Yeah. All right. All 
Rags. Rags to riches. Hey Ben, how you doing? <coughs> whoop, whoop. Need some shrooms. I've only got three of them left. I think we got four of those other inhaler things. What was the USB nothing? Uh, I just plugged my phone in to charge it because it was uh, been low. Wasn't sure if the sound would come through on stream or not. Apparently it does. <laughs> mom, box of snorting shrooms again. Your mom be like, why isn't he sharing? I love how they replaced coffee with uh, bags of rice. It's like just same static resource, different. <laughs> it's not coffee anymore that's valuable, now it's rice. People are genuinely hungry now. What the? <coughs> got a UV up here, what's going on up here? It's not counting it as UV. This is my immunity is low, but this looks like a UV place. There we go. They've even got a machete here and I can't pick it up. What? That's just teasing. I can't lose anything up here. What's going on with this place? Must be a story here at some point. At some point there's going to be a story element in this room. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Change your audio or something? Your voice sounds silky right now. Uh, I did do some tweaking with audio yesterday, but uh, it should be the same as it was earlier today. I don't know. Maybe my voice is uh, starting to recover a little more from uh, being sick. Yeah, the, the changes I made to, to UB, uh, not UB, OBS were yesterday. Can I make the jump across that street without running? I'm gonna guess probably not. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. Easy lockpick door. There we go. Does sound better than earlier. Oh, that's good. I don't know. Beats me. This is just right at the top of the stairs that I tried to go up. But this goes like nowhere. What's going on with this? Confused. Some might say confused. Oh, wait. Nope. I don't know why they would have had that door right there to just go into the whole nothingness. Unless it was like just an alternate way to go in as opposed to out. <laughs> See that guy's slide move? <laughs> There's the GRE facility, but it's getting pretty late in the in the night now. We go into this building, maybe. 
Although I think I might have been in here before. We may have already looted this one, but we'll check it anyway. Hey, Ruby Flaring, how you doing? The anti spikes are still instant death for the biters. Uh, I haven't noticed them being instant death. They, uh, they can be handy if you can kick them into them. It does some damage, but I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know if they're still an instant death. He didn't see anything. It's fine. Come on, loot him. I can't loot the guy. So this is the place we looted before, but the loot's back. That's cool. Money, money, money. You can't kick. <laughs> but it needs you. <laughs> Literally every one of the streams I've done for Dying Light has gotten limited monetization because of all the, uh, <laughs> all the gore. <laughs> have to have a, a human appeal it. <laughs> put his line open. Ready? <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, I gotta... Let me switch my stuff here, buddy. There we go. Oh, no, no! Oh, I just wasted that. I went to go with a healing, not that thing. Darn it. Those things are valuable. I just wasted it. Travis with the super chat. Heads up, lol. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Travis. Appreciate the support. And the sense of humor. Pop this thing open. I don't think it's Gorman. It's probably the Fs and uh, it could be. It could be. Usually the the only... Um, the time that swearing is normally an issue for limited monetization is when it's in the title of your of your video or uh, like within the first you know 30 seconds or something and there's there's often not swearing that early on but it could be very well might be but when they review it it uh they end up approving it which is weird Ow. oh god the reach on that thing i can't get it back up there come back down here you knocked me down too far you jerk Maybe he'll come after me. How many deaths so far? There really haven't been that many. A couple falling deaths for the most part. Earlier today we did this, uh, this Jerry Anomaly thing that was kind of a neat fight, but we ended up just obliterating the thing. Like a little mini boss fight. <laughs> Loot the bodies. Take the weapons, though. That's just the way in. No, come in by the roof. Oh, here we go. We can take these stairs back up and kill that guy. Assuming he's still here. I don't know whether they bug out or what. He's still here. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, I got his health back, too. Ow. Now I'm better. I'm not a huge fan of their spawn, their weapons despawning whenever they die. You never get to pick up what they were wielding. Dragon, has your channel been affected at all by YouTube's new thing of limiting the viewers and live streams done by smaller channels? Uh, I mean, 
I don't know what you're talking about. Limiting the views on smaller channels? I've never heard of that, ever. I've been capping live stream views at like, to like 300. Give the rest an error message? I've never heard of that, no. This game's been a little bit, a little bit on the lighter side for me today. In part because there's a, a number of other bigger channels that have been streaming this game, but also because I, I streamed earlier today at like 10 o'clock in the morning, which is outside my normal time frame. Last night I had, I don't know, 500 and something. So yeah, no clue. I've never heard of that. Didn't call me to let me know you were a reminder. Doesn't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize I was supposed to call everyone individually. My bad. <laughs> that time's over. Gotta get the stuff and get out of here before the big bad guys come home. Have you heard there are a massive number of weird rumors on the internet? What? I haven't heard that one. Tell me that one. <laughs> YouTube does certainly have its, uh, have its issues, <laughs> but there's also a lot of weird speculation related to YouTube sometimes. What if the fact that those other guys had the uh, UV lights running will stop the big guys from coming home? It's like, oh, we're not going home tonight, man. Somebody's having a party. I want to be able to sleep. The signpost weapon again. All right, what's the bulk of the stuff out of here? I think. Here we got most, if not all of it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Free! Daytime again. Some of you bigger raiders, but I pass them because I prefer watching Cryptic Fox play the same game. Well, thanks, Dan. Glad you enjoy it. It's just a lot of hype that was built around this game, so, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of people wanted to, uh, to put a content of it for it, like, right away, right? Where's this guy who's complaining? What? 40 meters? 42 meters? Okay, it's this way. Wasn't what I intended. Okay, I'm waking everybody up. The party. Oh, God, I fell. I am not the parkour master. Let me go and my squad might not kill you. Got this? Rescued. Thanks. Give me some sort of rap, right? They would have killed me. You deserve yeah. this. Unity booster. Sweet. Thanks, man. That is handy. <laughs> Just mowing them down with these machetes. These weapons are awesome. Travis in the super chat, you're heading in the right direction. Yeah, I can see the number going down. Inhibitor container nearby. Inhibitor container nearby. Back off. I'm a shitty. Four, three, two, one. One meter away. It's gotta be it's right on the inside of this wall. 
How do I get in there now? Found it. Okay, I was assuming I would hear like a click or something, but... Apparently not so much. Do I have to actually find the code for this thing? Q for activity info. It's not giving it to me. That's great. Codes on the screen. Where? I, it shows the number that I'm currently pointed to at the bottom, but codes in the room, huh? So I gotta find the code in the room somewhere. You're supposed to feel a vibration on the controller, but they can't do that just for controller. It doesn't sound right. Oh, huh. it a safe spot. 36, 24, 36. <laughs> are, wait, are those supposed to be dimensions or the code for the uh, <laughs> code for the lock? Who's here is Fox? Fox is supposed to have a, yeah, right. 101, but it's 101. Everyone just shout out random numbers. Ah! <laughs> I don't see anything in the room that would suggest a number for this thing. Hear the bed? See nothing. Item. Safe code. There we go. Haha. -ha. All right. Now, how do I access the darn thing? Um. Will it give me the code now if I. Because I picked up the item, will it just automatically show it to me or what? No, it doesn't. I've actually got to look it up. <laughs> how do I open that thing now? Collectibles! There we go. Graffiti... Where's the safe code? Well, these, no, these are actually... There we go. Safe code. No containing safe code 101. That's it? It's just a single number? That is hands down the weirdest safe code I've ever seen. <laughs> Didn't somebody guess 101? <laughs> I thought somebody put that in. That's funny. What a weird code. Super safe safe right there, man. 101. No one would ever guess that. You don't even have to do like the back and forth. Uh, yeah, LOL. <laughs> 101. Yeah, it does look like that. That's funny. Uh, I was going somewhere. I don't remember where. We got all the way down here and then we didn't even get a chance to go in this place. I want to come back there when nightfall hits. Uh, this is tier four. Ooh, we can do this windmill now. Let's do that one. Get that turned on. As long as we're already in the same in the general area, might as well tag it. Let's go to Metro here, too, for fast travel once we get the power going. That's your password password, 101. <laughs> Something's all fuck you. You 
you are so get me the hell out of here talk to me like that stumbled across the you guys There's our windmill that we need. I'm sliding. I can't fight when I'm on that angle group. Hate that. Get some. Get that fucker. Uh, I love how the throwing knife staggered them a little bit so you can get them on their truck right away. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I was like, why can't I loot him? <laughs> still moving that one. Let's stick a fork at him, he's done. Yeah, I need more healing stuff. Crafting. Oh god, I'm out of chamomile. Uh, alright, that presents a problem. I have some of those uh, military medkits, I guess we can... ...probably equip there. That should make me do that. Story... Nope, not that. Here. There we go. The five of the uh, military medkits, so that will help. Who's the other guy I killed? Look, Fox, you probably placed the place in the sub faction. What's this now? <laughs> you already have the day one patch, and if so, do you know the number ver version number? Uh, I did get the day one patch, and I do not know the version number. I'm sorry, I didn't pay any attention to it. Unless it's something that'll show up in here, but I don't see it. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any version number here anywhere. Sorry. You can catch you if you can. Catch you later, suckers. See you all next time. Where am I supposed to go on to? No way. I passed that guy, but I don't. <laughs> Counter escaped. Bandit escaped. Oh, was I actually supposed to catch the guy? I thought I was just supposed to, like, outrun him. <laughs> I thought it was a foot race. Ran right by the guy. My version 1.0.2, and I'm not sure if it's that's the latest patch. I, unfortunately, I really don't know. I didn't, like I said, I didn't uh, pay any attention to... What the heck? Alright. <laughs> I looted it on the way down, but... <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> I might have had to kill him, but that's all right. You can never catch me. See you all next year. Uh, I want to make some more of these. Got these upgraded, so they do a little more damage now too. They they do like twenty instead of ten. Yeah, loading backpacks are the latest in uh, carrying technology. You know, because it doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Get up. Oh god, that was a miss. Ugh. All right, I blew it. We got to hit C right before I landed too.
Okay, I gotta get up top there now. I guess we could go around. Isn't I don't get it like your battle cry? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's, that does sound about right. When you're right, you're right. That and not in the face. That's, that's another one that I use commonly, I guess. <laughs> So I tried this one before and didn't have enough stamina, but now that we've got the, our stamina boosted, should be all right. At least if I had timed it right. All right. I didn't. <laughs> For the record. Go back to the AA meeting. <laughs> Thing is slow. That's a, that's a close grab, like, I almost can't get that. I guarantee you I'm falling off one of these windmills at some point while I'm playing. Every time I climb up, I feel unsteady. Like the day one patch didn't fix it? Didn't fix which? The floating backpack or something else? <laughs> You know, type me for a bit. Got a lot to uh, make food for the rug red. All right. You ever heard of stairs? No, you do no stairs around these pots. What's wrong with you? Stairs. All right, let's try this uh, this tic tac thing. See if I can make use of that at all to get me around places I want to go. Might as well go down to where the next quest thing is, which is way down the other way. <laughs> We're gonna go all over here. That's off this way. No zip line this side? That sucks. Save zone unlocked. Perch windmill. Are they windmills? Or are they, uh, or are they mills? Or wind generators? They're, uh, they're windmills. Wind-based power generation. Powers up the area, and then the, uh, the whatever factions in the sp in the space can, can like come in and set up all their stuff. They can immediately bring loot with them, which is nice. At some point, so why not now? I didn't want to fall. Then I gotta die and respawn way back off at another. Another save point and come running back in again. Too much like work. That does not cater to my laziness at all. Look, they even clean up all the trash under here. Could have at least left me some down below for a zip line or something so I can get off of here. No zip lines anywhere along here. Although they have a jumping ramp there for some reason. Maybe I can jump to the rooftop across. Okay, yeah, this is better. Close landing, but we got it. Oh, God, I hit the, I missed the C button again. Like, right before I land, if I hit C, I can fall from a lot fire high, higher fights without, uh, I'll hurt myself. Ooh, that's way faster than my fancy bandages. It's all the bugs and graphics issues and reviews. Do you think it's worth 70 bucks day one on PS5? Uh, I don't know. I can't really say that I've had that many bugs. But we just had the one recently. Is this a new safe? It is. 
It's gotta be empty though, right? Nope, this looks like a new, a new area. Um, I've had very, very little bugs. Uh, mostly just like, I had like this floating backpack thing and... Ah, uh, this is weird, it's running. Huh. All right, so this kind of, this area reset on me, but all right, whatever. This is definitely the one we already gotten though. So yeah, very little bugs. I did hear, like, I did see like one of the reviews I checked out that um, they had encountered a bunch of bugs, but that that hasn't been my experience so far. But I'm also still relatively early into the game. Painter here somewhere. Oh, we're at a GRE facility, that's probably why. Can't ping right now though. It's gotta be it's behind this uh where am I? Am I at the GRE thing? No I am, that's why. Never mind, leave that one. Gotta go inside to get it. I'm not going up that way. Oh, yes. My God, I keep vaulting over things when I intend to just go on top of them. Surprisingly stationary while I was smacking him in the head. Ah. Did it look so detailed? Yeah, I think they did a nice job on it, actually. Okay. Uh, hmm. This is what I want. So we're gonna slow s throw some modifications in this. We'll start for. Oh. Just had a triple spot. I can't put the, um, shoot. I have that one mod that, uh, increases the durability of the item. That one's not available. Am I already at full durability on this thing? No, I definitely am not. What happened there? What did I do? What I do? Either I didn't hold the button out long enough, or I stuck the mod on a different item that I wasn't intending to. I guess. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I did. I stuck it on this machete. That's funny. Oh, well, we got spark on that one, too, now, I guess. That's fine. Put blades on with Super Chat. Fox, your battle cry is, oh my god, ferals! Ruby Roo! <laughs> oh, oh, and a scooby doo voice. Yeah. Run, Raggy! Run! Have mercy! Please have mercy! Run, Raggy! There's a quest here somewhere. Ooh, mate. Nice. <laughs> His head squished when I stepped on it. <laughs> snappy, snappy. Surge on the guy's prison wall out there. Scoop streaming tomorrow. I just remembered. Yeah, Scoop streamed uh, yesterday too, actually, I think. I think it was yesterday. Torch! Oh. Could 
be stealth killing these things, but that takes too long. Choppy choppy. Yeah, Scoop's uh, just over 200 subs now, right? I wonder if you keep streaming, then it'll keep growing. That's where the quest is. It's up top there. Uh, all right. I almost missed. Ah! Oh, no, I did miss. Darn it. Screw that up. Oh my god, that's singing. Somebody needs to work on their singing, but just not around here, maybe. Uh, let's see. 32 damage. What about those? We got 2,960 worth of valuables we can sell. Plus some of these uh, not so valuable things. Keep on loading those things. Come back and see me! I'll buy more of your crap! Inhibitor container detected. Inhibitor container detected. 40, 39. It's definitely this way. 27, 25, 20. Yeah. Yeah. It's convenient. I actually needed some gardening stuff. Oh, they're bleeding on my gardening stuff. Stop it. One of them little, uh, little glow in the dark shroom thing with bobbers, too. There they are. That's better. You guys are just keeping it safe on me. 14. 13. All right, we're going higher again now. It's got to be... Is it this way? That's in here. Seven, six, five, four, three, four. Got to be a floor below me or above me? Above me. Found it. More inhibitors. All the inhibitors. I just butt up in the air in a really awkward way there. Yeah, two in there. Nice. Okay, that should give us another unlock, I think. Here it does. Uh, let's see. I wanna get the head stomp thing, so we're gonna go with the health. That didn't unlock it yet. What have I gotta get up to? Skill power vault, or vault power kick. I already have that. In combat, I need 180 health. I'm only at 160. So I'm gonna need one more upgrade before I can get the head stomp. What I really want, when they're down, it gives them a good old stomp in the head. It saves me some weapon durability. This one where I just go, I guess this is where I just kill the guys. He's in the floor! Awkward. Yeah. <clears throat> Where's this guy that needs help? Oh, he goes. <laughs> Lavender and honey. Mm, lavender and honey. And more importantly, the chamomile, because I need that for making medkits. Is there a birdhouse in this one? I don't see a birdhouse. There it is. Stock up on feathers so when we eventually get the ability to make a bow, we can actually have arrows for it. weird. 
Which is our greatest enemy. This was yes. for the Black Monday bombings of the death of two million people. Okay, let's go see what these guys think when I give them the brass knuckles. Tell them it was like a five-year-old that got them. Well, maybe she was ten. Don't pay overtime here, right? Don't matter to me. I need the money. Good day, citizen. Do what you want. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. Let's get a tattoo. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Those aren't normal knuckles. They got spikes on Opening them. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. <sighs> Aider. I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Mm, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, Appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. I love how they're disturbed by them cutting the corpse after the guy's already dead, but not the fact they made him dead in the first place. <laughs> You'd think that would be the, uh... the tipping point, you know? The... That sick bloke just went and killed a person. Nope, nope, that's not the problem. He carved a dead Law guy. and order. Ain't no other way to say it. Aiden, still alive? You don't worry alive. about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. I'm coming. Okay, is there a vendor in here? I think there was, right? Crap master. No, but a vendor, though. You won't do better. Accessories. Got propane accessories. Consumables. Teaches me how to make uh, a toughness booster. 
I want to learn how to make this mine. It's only 230. We'll learn that. Uh, weapon tip mod voltage uncommon. Wait, what? What tip mods have I got right now? Oh, if rare mods. That's interesting. Rare tip mod. Got uncommon ones. Hello, the damage 15 per second for three seconds. Versus the one I have, which I've already upgraded a little bit. 15 per second for three seconds, but it has base damage and critical hit chances and other things. Elemental damage per second, 25. That's a good upgrade. Need another head, though. Fling! Uncommon tip mod. The enemy in front with a blast instantly throwing him back. Elemental damage of 40, critical hit chance of 8. I'm gonna get this because I want to see if I put a different tip mod on the uh, the thing I've already got. I mean, these are cheap. I might as well get all of them because it teaches me how to make them, right? Buy them all. They're not expensive. Don't worry about upgrading stuff later that I actually want to use. Matthew Coffee with a member message. Two months. So much hype for this. Currently downloading. Awesome, Matthew. Hope you have fun with it. I've been really enjoying it so far. It's already right in here. Uh, okay. So this... This one here is the one I had already modified. Uh... Park tip mod, voltage tip mod. Oh, just like different. They're totally different names. Didn't even notice that. 15... It does the same amount of damage. Oh, but this one you have to hit him a bunch to charge it up. You need 24 hits to charge it up. Interesting. Let's try putting the fling mod on here. Nope, I can't apply it. So you, so someone had asked earlier if you could replace the mods that were on your item. Wait, why is there no grip mod on this thing? Oh, this is the buccaneer. That's the wrong weapon. Two lace machete is the one I wanted to look at. There we go. Uh, someone had asked earlier if, if you could replace the tip mod, or any of the mods in here, and have it uh, repair the item, but that does not appear to be the case. You can't replace them once they're there. Sort of a weird mechanism. You have to use them for a bit to wear them down, so you get some, oops, you get some benefit out of them. And then use the mods to fix them, so you can, like, extend the duration you get to have it for. It's Peter weird. wants me to find Lucas's Very strange setup. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. This game's still full of bugs. I can't really speak to that. I really haven't been running into any. I think the only real bug I've seen so far was uh, a flying backpack. Um, and then uh, uh, there was one, uh, one NPC that I bumped into that was trying to climb on nothingness. To climb over a wall that didn't exist and they would climb up it and then drop back down and climb up and drop back down. Aside from those two things, I haven't seen other bugs, so... I don't know. I, I can't really speak to that, unfortunately. Not to say that there aren't any bugs, but just not ones that I've been encountering. And as for disassembly... Oh, and the, um... You said the, uh... The grip socket. I guess I... I just didn't put a grip in this thing. All right, so I, I definitely want to put a grip mod on this because grip mod, it, it saves like 30% of the damage, which is great. So that'll wear it on less quickly. There we go. But I don't think you can disassemble these, Rabin. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no mechanism to do that in this in this version of the game. You, you either break it or sell it. There's no breaking it apart um, in terms of like breaking it down for parts. Just wear it out or sell it, pretty much. Old school super chat. My doctor says uh, my eyes need an oil change. Seriously? 
<laughs> seriously needed an, an oil change in your eye. That's uh, that's different. So do they use like what are these for? Like 10W30 or is it something else? Turn left. Dodge the three infected there. Dodge the three infected there. Buddy, you got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors, too. The horn, I mean. That's a lot of detail I didn't need, man. <laughs> now, based on your colorful description, sounds like you enjoy it. It'll be fine. Later. Oh, I, did, I wasn't... Oh, I didn't mean to make that choice. You got a problem? Oh, okay. He's just going to redo it. There we go. And he, the last... All right, rainbow horn boy. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. Yeah, I'm playing on PC. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person. I took a nap and then boom. I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food. But I won't give you the shits quite yet. Oh my if god. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay, maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. <laughs> Again, too much information. After all, no one has shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three <laughs> hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. <laughs> then comes the puking. My uncle would just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. <laughs> what is this ridiculous quest? Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them. <laughs> yeah, we don't, don't want any poop geysers. It's all right. It's fine. Uh, hold T to track. So did he give me the rations already? Like, what's the deal? Oh, it's a parkour challenge. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Looking for a job. All right. Our cook needs an assistant. Oh, oh, okay. See, this is like a repeatable kind of thing. We get some nice agility. We can actually accomplish the thing. Follow the checkpoints in any order to deliver the rations as quickly as possible. All right, we'll see what happens. Two, one. Oh, oh that's gonna hurt. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I think I failed. Challenge failed. Oops. I didn't jump far enough. Well, so much for that, huh? Guess we can do it again anytime we want to? Yeah, we can. Let's try that with less going splat at the bottom, you know? We got a, we got a guy over here, we'll go ahead and hit him first. God. Go, go! Oh, this one's way far away. What was I thinking? This is definitely not the one I should have gone for first. Ooh, inhibitor container. I'm more interested in that than doing this thing. <laughs> uh, oh man, what, what happened there? First checkpoint hit. That was stupid. I shouldn't have gone the long way. I, I didn't, uh, I wasn't thinking about the, uh, how far away that next that one would be. Don't forget about the super chat. Is it worth buying? See, a lot of people are asking that, and, and I'm not, I'm not sure what to answer. Um, I'm having fun with the game. I have heard that there are bugs in the game, but they're not ones that I've experienced. Uh, I got a copy of the game for free from Techland, so I'm certainly biased. It does make it a little bit hard for me to provide an, an objective opinion. Uh, but so far, I'm having fun with it. A bit of a pricey game, but it's, pri it's definitely priced like a AAA title. But I don't know. I like it so far. I'm still also pretty early in the game. I, I don't have, like, a good overall opinion because I'm, I'm still so early in. But... Okay. Okay. 
There's no way I'm gonna get this done in time. Plenty of meters over here. Checkpoint. Oh, I've hit the wrong button. <laughs> I was thinking about the landing so much, I was pushing the C to do the, the soft landing before I even made a jump. Oh, God. Got it. Didn't turn as bad as I thought it might. Just ringing in my ears. I hope the kids are all right. Port about the challenge. You are awesome. What's up? I know you made it in time too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Got so obviously he didn't have a poop because geyser. Because if you do. Cause I got another sausage run to prevent the runs. And you, you already know where to go. This isn't an urgent race like the last one, but in this weather, you have to be careful with food. The faster it lands in someone's stomach, the better for everyone. So you're guessing parkouring pilgrims will be the future of Uber Eats? <laughs> Maybe. The man deals with the water issue. We need to take the water completed. tower back. All right. Get Where is this place I'm headed to? Oh, right. I gotta go back to the. Uh, gotta go back to the bazaar. Twenty-seven steps straight ahead, then sixteen more steps. Turn left. Dodge the three infected there. Twenty-six plus eighty-two. Ooh, had to sneeze. Sorry. Oh. That's the first elevator I've used. What the hell is going on in the central loop? This is PK's restricted access. Some say a renegade. We just make a sausage rifle and aim it at people's mouths. <laughs> What's going on here? Is he fixing the gate? Shut up. Trying to think how to fix this. Okay, can't go in that gate, I guess. Knocking. Hey, who the fuck are you? You mean who am I? I'm Easy, Chief. I've already been he in here like PK. ten times. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. 
Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. This is weird considering how many there times I've already be been no back here. Rebuilding. Looks like it's doing it out of order. Is he yours clipping through his hat? <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad and getting worse. Bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Yes, but a, a soothsayer once said, I started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> why don't you tell me more about your people? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. There's rarely someone as dangerous as a zealot, and that's what this guy seems to be. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? He's got prayer beads hanging down here, and he's acting all preachy. If he's like a former, former monk, or just like envisions himself as one. Sheep, I'm no threat to you. Wolf, you better watch out. I don't like that metaphor. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Oh yes, I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a package for her. No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and <laughs> Oops, raised bad here. lie. <laughs> That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. How about I bluff you right in the face? And you know why? Why? Because you're a douche? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me <laughs> again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. Well, maybe if it didn't come off as though you're Apparently staring... You can't go through the tunnel either. Oh, I think teleported. <laughs> prisoners in our own homes. Maybe if it didn't come off as though he was like staring down his nose at me from like a thousand feet up. You supposed to be the big dude? How are you grunting? You having like some constipation issues? You okay? Are you alright? Yeah, look away. That's right. Look away. Sophie, can we talk? <laughs> He's not Don't a giant. He's, He's like my size. Let him talk. 
Put me down, Herman Little. <laughs> My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. This quest is weird because she's referencing yesterday, but we've been several days in the city already. What sort of transaction? Tell me more about Alberto Vincenzo. What do you mean in charge of safety? A certain transaction? Is that anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first package. step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. That would be a really nasty watch though. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city, a byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. I see. In, in charge of safety. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. I see. Fine. You drank the cool I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. Hey, Lady Laura. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. All right, we're playing UPS now. What can Brown do for you? Ask the craft masters about the crystal. Open sesame. Oh, we're here. We can sell our stuff. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, you. Yeah, Looking you. For work, by any chance? Not really, but I'll take your side quest if you got I'm one. Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Yeah, these guys catch on quick, don't they? I lie and say I'm local. <laughs> Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? A party in here. Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriand. They'll fill you in on the details. <clears throat> All right. Understood. I'll go report to them. I'm not doing. <laughs> don't report keep them to waiting. Them. I'll keep them waiting as long as I want. The nice thing about side quests, they don't have to do them right away. Like that. I'm just giving you information. Done playing CMS 21. Uh, you gonna jump back I in and something? I don't know. I want to get the urge. I guess I might. Been distracted by other games instead lately. Uh, 30 damage. That was terrible damage. 21, 30. Let's get rid of this 21 damage one. That's the same. Keep all these higher damage weapons for now. Get out of here. 
Quinn Axe, 38 damage. Flashing, unique long axe. I'm assuming that's got to be a two-handed weapon. Doesn't say so, but... Unique long axe versus unique one-hand stick. <laughs> Ooh, a one-handed stick. Well, and... A workshop, Dad. Yep. Workshop, Dad. Uh, let's buy all this stuff. I, I don't know why I didn't buy these things before. It didn't occur to me that I could just... That these were just the plans. So we'll buy all these. I want to upgrade if I can upgrade anything. Uh, toughness booster, endurance booster, E bar. Upgrade much of anything here. Oh, the weapon mods we got now. Flame, we got venom, we got spark, voltage, bling. This one, Empowerment, Common Grip Mod. Base damage plus four damage. Oh, nice. I kind of like the one that uh, makes it last longer. It's, we've got a 30% durability right now. If I had one more Infected Trophy Head, we could make it a 40% durability this save. It works out. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. I guarantee my uh, prices. Can't talk. There we go. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Two weeks later, hey, is that job still active? <laughs> they always are. sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. Like and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred. Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty, uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Welcome, value. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> All right, we gotta talk to Sophie. She's in, undoubtedly gonna send us there or to do the work and get the crystals Don't for her like because everybody's lazy in games like this. And just you won't regret it. Well, All right, the chunky guy said down. I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. He doesn't even talk. How does he know? Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own and throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. Fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. You're the only person I know who can make a cold or whatever you're sick with sound good. <laughs> I mean, it's giving me a bit of a deeper voice, but it's, it's getting better already. Why blame yourself? Why blame yourself? We all make our own bets. Listen, you said it yourself. You're new here, so you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. Kick it good. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. You? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. I'm sure I probably will. We still will. have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Well, he doesn't seem like Just the brightest. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. But the tour of the gate was her brother. Yeah, you're probably right. 
I bet he'll look much better with a machete embedded in the left side of his neck. Or possibly the right side. Uh, new night quest. Unruly brother. Hold T to trust. Fast forward to night. There we go. Digging this way too personally. Night's fallen. Your immunity will go down. All right. So we've got to find our way to wherever that spot was. Over here. Man, I got to go over there at night. The whole way at night? Maybe I shouldn't hit the button to fast forward it. That was maybe not my smartest move. All right. We got to go around this way. Give me bay, zombies. Light. Dark. He's got a wound. We're looking for a guy with a wound. Yeah, it's kind of a dead giveaway. <laughs> what? You mean this guy here with this weird claw mark wound on his head? Neck? Wherever it is? Body? Petra? What the heck? See, now the window's open and the zombie launched out. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is how we spawn now. That's neat. I think we're here. Probably not supposed to be on the roof, though. Yeah, it's definitely this building. Is there a way in for the roof here? No, of course there's not. One of those howlers down there. Oh, which reminds me, I want to swap over to my throwing knives. Ah! Nailed it. Alright, we're in. An old clothing store. Huge sale. <laughs> Going out of life sale. So I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Maybe we can find Barney if we sing his favorite song. I love you. You love me. Is this All of Us Are Dead? <laughs> that is a good show. <laughs> I just finished watching that. Got a fancy newspaper. Newspaper article, March 7th, 2021. What if it's related to the pandemic? <laughs> Wish you could like drag them when you're uh, when you're doing that so you could back up. I don't really want these uh, zombies right here to wake up. Our first crystal deposit we can get. Give me crystals. Yeah. Barney, answer me. Oh god, is that Barney? Now. Oh no. What a dummy! He went in during the daytime. No, it wasn't the guy at the gate. It was somebody else. And clearly, well, I don't know—not clearly, but it might not be the guy we were looking for. Sophie, Zayden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney. Oh. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. All right, it's not Barney. Investigation. Some information can be hidden in plain sight. To discover it, you need to use the investigation mechanic. To investigate an area, press Q to use your survivor sense. Look around for clues. Uh, follow the leads as the creative path that will take you to your goal. If needed, use survivor sense again to refresh the leads. 
I can do that. I can be detective. Like Ruby Roo. Well, he's over this way. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Trail. Hurry, Aiden. <laughs> yeah, how about telling us what Barney looks like, aside from a big purple dinosaur, anyway? <laughs> oh, my immunity, though. Uh, what do we got? We got eight of the shrooms we can take. Those will have to do, I guess. Man, I need something a little stronger than these shrooms. They're not cutting it. There's we go. Oh, speaking of shrooms. There's another thing down here I didn't get. Ah. Went right by that one. Didn't even see it. Typical blind cryptic. There's another one over there, too. Alright, I should be getting all these things. We oh got I'm so excited for this game! Sadly, a lot of games haven't been what they promised, so I'm waiting to watch some gameplay first before I pick it up. I've been liking it so far. I've really been enjoying it. I, no, here's the thing. I didn't come into this with a ton of expectations, so... In my, uh, my opinion, I don't know, may not match your own, but... Uh, I only just finished playing Dying Light for the first time the other day. Uh, but I knew this was going to be coming out, and I was like, oh, I like, I like zombie games. Can't wait for that to come out. Oh, God. Oh, God, I woke him up. Don't see me. I'm not here, man. Yeah, so far so good as far as I'm concerned, but uh, like I said, you know, mileage may vary on that opinion. I did get a copy of the game for free from Techland, so I'm not without bias, just so you're aware. But I like it. Anyway, the, the trail went cold. Where's the blood? You're not Barney, are you? Oh, it didn't kill him. That was weird. All right, gotta be in here. Fuck, now what am I supposed to do? Uh, die. Barney? Are you? <clears throat> Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. <laughs> Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will <clears throat> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Love the game so far, but just sucks playing on a 1050 with upscaling off and on. Playing with on makes the game look terrible and burns my eyeballs, though it makes me want to run 20 frames. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Kamada will make you stop acting tougher than you are. Your sister's worried about you. Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a <laughs> thing from me! It works about as well with my kids. Shit. Oh, great. You made so much noise, all the zombies are here now. Why, Barney, why? We're supposed to be friends. <laughs> Just keep coming. That's oh, off of his head, one hit. Just destroying those guys. I love that we got some better weapons than we had when we started out, because the ones we had were pretty rough. 
These ones are good. I'm just slicing and dicing all these zombies. Hit the like button, y'all. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to hit the like button. It does help a little bit with uh, helping YouTube understand when people enjoy stuff. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, to be honest with you, as much as everybody asks for likes all the time on YouTube videos, but... Bigger can't Marty. hurt. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that one's gonna be so bad I dodged <laughs> <in> my bed. <laughs> nice face. They gone? Yeah. Went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. He didn't say it explicitly, but she implied it. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised this old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. This guy's really not very smart. He'll have to fight his own way. We're leaving. All right, I'll look for him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend, and then come back for you. Got it? Hurry! What? He closed the door on me. I wanted to search that room. He's like, I'm gonna hide in here where it's safe. You go out there where it's dangerous. Oh, nice. It actually gave me a reset on my, uh... Damage timer thingy, too. <laughs> All right, where was he now? Oh, over here. Oh no, is that the kid? Maybe that's an old body. Blood, must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Ruh row. <sighs> ah, birdie. Come on, kid, don't be dead. <laughs> no! <laughs> that's problematic. All right, gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. I can't ping. Wish I had more Maltops. Gotta go. This doesn't take me out of the mission area and make me fail the mission. Hey, what's this? Oh my god. I already looted that one, but it gave me stuff anyway, just not the uh, little needle jabby thing. Inhibitor. Sophie has interesting people. Haha. Can't chase me here, buddy. Okay, now where's the uh, mission objective? Hey, you find Bertie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. <laughs> At least I thought I was following the trail. We're not following the trail so much as we're just like killing and looting things, really. Sure, it's fine though. Where's the trail? I kind of lost track of things. <laughs> oh, there's the blood pattern there. I wasn't going down without a fight. Oh, wait, up. There we go. Huh. 
<laughs> I do need Bloodhound, that'd be Andy. Where are we going here? with the super chat look for trail fox oh look for something shiny it's supposed to be uh like a blood trail but you go down what's that out there oh it's like an oil slick or something oh. mind me guys oh, God, where'd you come from not pay to walk out of these houses, they like respawn. Wait, did he go back out? No, that's his that's his footprints coming in. Ah, oh, god. Hopefully that's not him. Okay, yeah, kid definitely went up here. His, his uh, handprint and footprint is up this way. Nathan, <laughs> tell everybody how many of them I got. Where's the trail? Wait, what? Am I going the wrong way on this trail? Confused. Oh, it is out here. He ran to the truck. Maybe he made it. Now I'm going backwards here. So he went out here, by the truck, into the building. Then it's, it's gotta be up here. I'm really having trouble following this trail. I, I think I'm, I think I'm mentally stunted or something. <laughs> oh my God, Crypto, get some glasses. I think I do need glasses. Where's the trail gone? But I actually gotta examine the th up on here. What the heck, man. The next room. Standing up. Keep going up. All right, whatever. Go we'll take the stairs. I already went up to here, though. Wait, is he in here? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Ran right by him. He came in a different way, though. Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't even see on the planks beside him there was uh, another hand and footprint thing there coming up. All right, I'm smart. Who are Never you? been accused of being overly observant. Maybe. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? Of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan, is that you? What happened, where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't 
don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Uh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. That was harsh. Can I search his body? Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Yes, it is. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Exactly like that. Guy's a douche. <laughs> that's that's the problem. Oh, I missed. What a douche monkey. Sounds like what it is, yeah. The guy walks like a douche, talks like a douche, quacks like a douche. It's a douche. Oh, ah, did they get him? Yeah, these guys are worse stuff. Can't hit him with a knife though, he's too fast. Far away. Back of your little bolter. Are these are nice little trail of yellow feet. Figure straight into a howler. Do another howler. Oh, it was gonna go great. Come on, up we go. Didn't see that guy soon enough. You hit him with a dagger and stagger him and then go slash him. Like I did with that one guy that was running away from me. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Front end. Oh. Interesting. Oh. The other times I killed those guys with melee, they always got the howl off. It seems like if I can hit them with the dagger first, stagger them while I close in for the kill, they don't get to howl. Oh, officially broke the thing. A sweet, sweet knife. It's all toast. Let's just do our other one now. Same damage. That's all right. Four. Where's your body? Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. God damn it. I hear Barney got himself into trouble again. God dang it! You got a kid killed. We gotta go kill Barney now. Eye for an eye and all that. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again. What are you doing? Spying on me? They didn't give them a game and tell them not to play it. What happened was uh, retail stores leaked out the game ahead of the official release and they asked people not to play it because they wanted to be able to push out the day one patch and they also didn't want a bunch of like random stuff out there about the game. 
They did give out copies of the game early to content creators as a, as a form of marketing in advance of the release, which most video game companies do these days in order to help build hype around the game before the release date and encourage sales. You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Yeah, we totally need to kill this guy. <laughs> ah, not again, you piece of. Think you're in pain now? Keep talking. Oh, uh, Ezra, how about you just chill out? I don't think you need to be having those kind of comments. Rabbit's just here to help keep the peace. Uh, how about you uh, just chill out? We'll break the guy's nose. We gotta, we gotta do one that break his nose, though. He got two people killed because he's a douche hammer. Like a douche and smirch. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No <laughs> like the first chance you get. It's I agree. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? <clears throat> Information. Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. The main character does sound kind of like Crane, doesn't he? I think there's a slight difference in the voice, maybe, but it's very similar. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. That's right. <sighs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, Pilgrim? Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we Oh, call it's him. Hubie. <laughs> Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. What do you mean? But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. So we're saying goodbye to him? Uh, clearly we're intended to kill him or someone else is going to kill him when we find him. Like Carl and Ellie. Uh, there is an option to turn off the uh, the health bars and the stamina bars. If you go into options under, it might be in a game actually, even speech, speaker, streamer mode on, titles. 
weapons. Maybe it's on the heads up display actually. Oh yeah, health bars. So we can turn off the health bars. We can turn off the uh, health bars on humans. Uh, there's the awakening bars, immunity timer. You can turn off the immunity timer. So someone was mentioning that in the stream earlier today. You can't actually turn that off so you can't see it. <laughs> uh, and it gives you infection progress. So you can shut that off so you can't see it. But And you can also turn off uh, stamina bars, etc. I'll turn off the uh, the health bars. We'll see what it's like to try, try to fight stuff when it doesn't have that. I've just kind of been playing it that way since I started playing. Old school super chat. Is Lawan Rosario Dawson showing up yet? Rawr. I have no idea. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Right, you extortionate negotiationists. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Uh, Relax, Herman. Uh. <laughs> he saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? What's your sign? That's what the key PK commander. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, Herb our situation no tongue, yeah. got fucked up. <laughs> but Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill. To support themselves, they take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. Liar is what he is. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier... When he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. And his name should be Dushin Smirch. With the conversation with That's Carl. back with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Drunk Something people? people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Joe Not Jack. long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. I see. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never a bargain with extortionists when she was still in charge here Wait, so before carl took power you she led the bazaar with an iron fist and carl listened to her after her death he became full of himself and he got cocky well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her i know what she wanted for her people community and freedom that's what she always said but don't ask me what she wanted for me I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. 
Yeah, the crystals are, uh, they kind of use them like a currency. Some people think that they, if they wear them, it slows down the spread of the infection or the rate of, like, it increases their immunity or something. But it's, uh, it's just like superstition, but they're used as like a currency because they're valuable. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. Or we can just and kill so him. so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people so to forth. be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Guard them? I don't do well the whole guarding thing. I do better at the killing thing. Uh, let's go buy some explosives, because if we have to fight some dudes... Oh, we got Molotov. Let's talk to this dude, and uh, see if he's... Ooh, what's this? Factory line knuckles, 23 damage. That's terrible. Terrible, but he's got explosives. DIY grenades. Please. Uh, buy it all. Buy that too. Immunity booster, those are good. 35%. It's not a lot, but it's uh, it's something. I'm going to take those. We've got a ball cap thing. And a cap. Uh, compared to what I got. Oh, it's better than what I have on. Better armor anyway. Less parkour XP. Uh, increases healing effectiveness and stuff. Where's the gear? How oh, these compare? Not favorably. All right. Uh, swimming booster. Swimming stamina drain minus twenty five percent. Oh, that could be handy at some point. They're only sixty. We'll buy those. I'm gonna buy all this medicine too. Why not? They make it some of my own. Okay, none of these weapons I think are gonna be worth grabbing, so we'll leave those. Oh, I should actually sell to this guy too while I'm at it. Got 1,440 invaluables. Take all that. Take all these too. Will he buy a broken thing? He does, 152 for my broken item. That's interesting. One durability left on it. <laughs> Wish there was something else we could do with it, like break it apart for something, but. Ugh, 18 damage. Get that out of here. Everything's over 30 for the damage I have now. That's good. Talk to this dude. We get an upgrade. And carry <laughs> I bought everything he has to sell, but we can upgrade with him. Uh, we can upgrade lock picks. Make those better. We can upgrade my mods, so when I start using the mods, we can do more. This will bump it up to 25 damage per second. Crit chance increased to 12%. I kind of like that. Uh, but the one I want to boost, I think, is going to be this one here. Great items. Boop. There we go. Better. Now we got a 40% uh, reduction in durability breakdown on our tools when we use that mod, which is awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. Repair purple and above weapons. What do you mean by repair them? Because like when you put mods on, you can repair things, but there's not like a, there doesn't seem to be an option for repairing in the game. The normal course of things. You upgrade the Molotov recipe? I don't actually have the Molotov recipe. So in my crafting here, this is the stuff that I can make right now. I can't, oh, I do have the Molotov recipe. Oh my God, yes you can. And I can craft them, oh wow. Dude, I didn't realize I bought that recipe. <laughs> yeah, you can upgrade it. I guess it would uh, probably increase the amount of damage you get from the Molotovs. I totally should have done that too. We need to get some more heads. because For some reason we use heads to upgrade things. Man. 
I go in here. No, the opposite side of this thing. <laughs> it's like sweet weapon. Aiden. Yeah. Something's up. Susie. You there? Sophie, we're under attack. Where's you are? What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap. Run. Fuck. Susie. Ralph. Aiden, hurry. They've got all the crystals. Everything we have. I'm going. I'm going. Probably have to kill these guys. Good blades on. Fox, you earned the Molotov recipe. Oh, I earned it. Okay. I, I thought I had tried to make Molotovs before I didn't have it. That's why I didn't think I had the, the recipe for it. Probably didn't at the time. I'm sure they can, they can wait a minute, right? While I'm, while I'm looting things. <laughs> My time's over. Get our bonus. Thanks for the super chat, by the way. Ooh, combat level up. Are they? I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. Oh no. Well, I gotta spend my skill points. Uh, power attack. We've got uh, stab. Good old stabby stabs. Block charge. When blocking, charge an enemy in front of you and knock them to the ground. Press V when blocking. Oh, I like that. Place aiming. If I could get a bow, the aiming would be good, but. Block projectiles. I'm gonna try this uh, block charge thing. See if we can knock something off the roof of that. That'd be fun. And they're dead. It. You were too late. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. <laughs> Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. All right. Is this the guy? Looks like the guy. <laughs> oh, I thought I could kick him into the fire. Oh, there we go. Ah. I got something for you, jackass. Oh, we're in the fire. Oh, he didn't go in. <laughs> sort of knocked into the fire. <laughs> I made it. Ah, right, they're dead. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. One Susie. Oh, there's Susie. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Oh no, if I Sophie, hadn't stopped I just gardening, I would have saved dead. their lives. <laughs> I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. 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 There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Whoa! Big boy! Big, big guy! Uh, fucking... What? The goon! Huge, ugly motherfucker! He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. He's slow, just be careful. You know, if he hits you, he'll smush you into a fine red pulp, but it's really fine. Bodies. Search more bodies. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Probably. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. 
Uh, one second. I need to change something up here. Let's get rid of this. Switch to a Maltov. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Burn, baby, burn. Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, not alive. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not to marry <laughs> kind. Did you learn anything about the commander's murder? Look at when he burned them, they get all charged. mentioned something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Yeah, is that not, he's not oh, a fast shit. turner, is he? Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. Just smoke the big guy. Yeah, more fire. Gotta make more of those Maltovs. Maybe I'll wait until I upgrade them before I make a whole bunch more of it. I'll keep I'll just keep the materials ready so that like when I wanna make them, I guess I can use them situationally. I like by the way the, the bodies char though, even when they're like up walking around, so they don't they don't look like they haven't been through a fire after you burn them. Alright. Nothing else to search here, I guess. Oh wait, what have we got over here? Oh, was that the big guy was just hanging out in here? Weird. Where am I gonna go? I use my own weapon durability, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure I'm supposed to, supposed to be going somewhere with some sort of urgency, but I'm too busy looting. How'd you get up here, big guy? Hey, Herman. Uh, uh, it's Herman Munster. Where's Sophie? Leave me alone. Don't forget to heal. Oh yeah, I probably should do that too. <laughs> I was you on the mission. Friends could have used you. Oh, okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Can I heal myself while I wait here? This is how Fox got everyone killed. <laughs> I was too busy looting, I couldn't save any lives, I'm sorry. Dream sequence, I can't run. Aiden, what's the matter with you? Drugs. Mia, where are you? Drugs are the matter. I've been huffing all the psilocybin. Mia. Oh no. Oh. No. No. No.
Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked. And yet I let him lead. Darn that, Carl. Why didn't you send Herman? He's a monster. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Yeah, Mia probably will be the big bad guy at the end of the whole thing. Okay, two rolled up. Maybe it's uh, connected with Lucas's murder? You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him Carl. lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. He said me as a volatile that bit you. I mean, it's possible, I guess. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. Yeah, it was I thought gardening. like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. Love how I can't be trusted, but I'm the one who was supposed to save their entire party. <laughs> he can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Yeah, kill him. That'll do something good for the city. Oh, he just snorted something. Birdie, to your health. He's toasting the dead dude to his health. That's a little messed up. I gather you were close with Birdie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. <laughs> He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing oh Mr. Cock and Cunt will change something? <laughs> Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. This game Besides, definitely has some language. I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. He's spying on me. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. It's the CNC now. law offices. <laughs> it's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. CNC law offices, but they only book appointments on Tuesdays, so they can always say, see you next Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if I can make that jump all the way across there. I kind of want to find out, but I also don't want to go splat. But I gotta go. Oh, dude down there needs help, I think. Um...
Protected. Go away, you little jerks. Yeah, we're fighting some real beauty queens there. Hope that chest is still there. street level. <laughs> Last of Us had great dialogue. I haven't played The Last of Us. I don't have a PlayStation. I probably should get it just for that game. It still strikes me weird that we can break the neck of a zombie and kill it. Uh, there was a chest over there, but it looks like it's gone. Probably because I left the area. That sucks. I don't know what would have been in it. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Rat. That bites. Not well, so much for that. heal too I guess camouflage not working night no, it probably would if you like ran and hit but there was um, a UV light right there where next to that grass you were saying I should hide in so I didn't bother to hide in it didn't seem to be worth it considering I could just stand in the UV light and get the same effect um, these some um, these health kit things go really really fast when you use them I kind of want to make uh, just some of the regular healing maybe Make uh, we'll make all these and I'll swap them out. We'll keep those military health kits for later when they might be more uh, more time sensitive use. Oh my god, I had all kinds of healing on me. What am I doing? Immunity booster, immunity booster. Let's uh, oh, I've got eight of these things. Nice. There we go. Use the lame ones first. I think those must be the ones I bought from the shop. Goddamn coyotes! I go on. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? You want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. 
I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. Well, that's just great. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. Those people in quotes. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie. I can handle them. Lucas thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere, with a piece of your hide cut out. I don't have a tattoo. Why would they bother cutting a piece of my hide out? You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. Huh. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. I, mean, I feel like inevitably they're going to send me in to kill this guy anyway. Why don't they just skip all the preamble and just go right to the part where I kill the guy? You know, I've collected like a billion of those cordyceps things. I should actually look and see what they do. <laughs> Maybe I could actually be using them for something. Uh, backpack inventory. They're not even a thing. Where are they? Just the honey. Cordyceps, fungi that deliver energy to muscles and optimize oxygen for use during, uh, used in boosters. Primary sources, root groves. Okay, so I guess it's a crafting thing for making boosters. Hmm. All right. All right. Four. Where we stand now? Missing person side quest, or we can go over here and do the raid. Let's go do the raid. I wanna, I wanna see what the deal is with this raid. Raid. Take care of yourself. Your vendor here. No oh, vendor. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a closer jump. Oh. Well. You turned yourself into a pancake, partner. And the worst part is I'm right at the same spot, too, so I get to repeat the same mistakes. I only did one of those little rolly tumble things. Oh, where was that, uh... Not by this truck, I think. I killed, the uh, I killed that one... Freaker thing down here, but I guess... Too late, it's already gone. Need their heads for upgrades. You know, live stream the full 500 hours of play? Well, I'm not intending to 100% to the game. I don't 100% anything. So 500 hours? No, not so much. I do want to play the whole way through the game. And I do want to spend some time like exploring and checking stuff out, doing side quests and that sort of thing. I'm not going to focus just it's on the core story. Time for it looks like Sophie's not here. I, I think I better we look must, for her. Must be dad. But as long as there's, as long as there's interest, I'll keep streaming it. You know, if, obviously if it drops down like nobody's really watching it, then I'm not going to bother finishing it. But if you want to talk, Sophie's not here. Ask around for find out where Sophie Pilgrim. went. That, that. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie, uh, yes, she went, she said, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Very specific. Wait. That way. There's more. But wait, One there's more. more. Now how much thing. would you pay? Something's wrong with, uh, uh, not working with, uh, it's broken. 
That, uh, oh. uh... Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? not very interesting. I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Other tests? Oh. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that, he went home too, and I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier, with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests. But they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Dr. Waltz. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Aren't you stressed out over what Sophie will do next? Like, where did Sophie go? She's standing literally right here. <laughs> like, like not even... I could throw a coin and hit her, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Where'd she go? She disappeared like a fart in the wind. <laughs> I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan. I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you! What now? That's Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help, but they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her, to the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. 
Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? It's a long story. Um, my stories aren't important right now. Uh, I understand. I don't tell mine, you won't tell yours. Okay? It's not like that. It isn't? Yeah, mine's an old story. It still has more questions without answers. Is that why you became a pilgrim? To find those answers? Because you sure don't look like a criminal. At least not to me. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. I feel like we already took Aiden. a long time. And we started on the wrong foot. Oh, you clearly a want sip something. Of courage. Should you be drinking this much this before a the mission This guy's worm. Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Hey, what? I was literally just standing next to Sophie. What do you mean, where's Sophie? How'd you get onto, like, another rooftop already? <laughs> He's fast. Faster than what I give him credit for. Down there already. Uh... No convenient place to jump down here. You sure? Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Oh, we've been in that building before. Bandit camps. Approach a bandit camp and use your binoculars to identify entry points. Go get the camp leader and identify potential environmental opportunities. Take over the bandit camp. There's already two. Uh, to take over the bandit camp, you need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants. Then claim the camp flag tower. To claim the camp, you'll establish a safe zone and earn additional rewards, XP, yada yada yada. So that, that's the building that had the um, fly drop on top of it. Yeah, right up there. We, we already went all the way up that building once. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. Oh, sure you will. And we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. That's where we go to Tango. Waka, waka, waka. Oh, look, it does look different. There's an actual ramp at the, at the entrance to this thing now. Before it was, uh, it wasn't a complete ramp. But we're not going in the front door, we're going in the back door, I guess. Advise you stealthier. Press C to crouch and traverse using hiding spots, using the environment to distract your enemies, coins, bottles, and bricks. Make noise that draws their attention. Sneak behind enemies and press F to take them out. Alright, so this is a stealth mission, and I just ran in. Change of plans, Guns blazing. They attacked our safe house. Who? You're mine now. Sophie? You're mine You now. have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Get to break it to you, but your friend's dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the way in. Oh, yes, it is. Can I reach that? Yeah, I can. Nice. In there. All right, liberate the camp, kill Jack and Joe's lieutenant. You gotta be kidding me. 
Spotted already. Never see me in this grass. Oh, hey buddy, who are you? <laughs> He's got his face painted up and everything. I like how it killed him and the guy landed in the deep grass, too. <laughs> I need to uh, yeah, equip some coins, I guess. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We'll get rid of these. Pick some coins. this game I don't know it depends whether you want the game or not seems like a strange question I can't really answer for people they the people will ask sometimes if they should buy it is it good uh, will I like it uh, I mean I don't know you I'm enjoying the game it's not a cheap game I'll give you that much well there's a bit of a price commitment there but uh, I'm enjoying it so far now I didn't pay for my copy of the game I got a copy of it from Techland so I am biased, then in mind. Uh, but so far, I'm enjoying it. We're still really early into the story, too. I spent a bunch of time earlier today when we, we played for like six hours earlier, and I didn't advance the story at all, really. I just like explored the city, activated some of the, the windmill areas, went into a couple of the zones to like loot some stuff. Little dark zone areas. Yeah, it's definitely not a cheap game, that's for sure. Hang on. It is so cool. Okay. Think they heard me? <laughs> My lucky oh. day. Yeah, they got me. Not so much for stealth. Can you take it? Can't take it. Where are you? You're done. Hey there, Jack! <laughs> <laughs> Look alive! Swing, buddy. I think he hit his friend. Who are you? <laughs> oh, these are my guys. What? That's weird. Okay, whatever. I guess the idea is if we get into a fight, they'll uh, they'll come and help me. Thought I was all alone in here for the most part. Block the blocks. If you don't like the game, then why are you watching it? That's really strange that you've chosen to click on a stream that you can see the name of the game and the title of. Simply to say bad things about it. Why not just go watch something else? Wouldn't that be more productive? What the fuck? What the what? It's swore at me. Oh, he's up above. Oh, they're fighting. Go get him. <laughs> he was just about to blow the horn. Ain't got nothing. Choke on this, asshole. Eat this. What's I think he died. Incidentally, I've had very few glitches when I'm playing so far. I don't know what other people's experience has been like, because I did see some articles saying that there was, uh, some of it was kind of buggy, but I haven't bumped into any yet. If there's any benefit to going up here. <laughs> Climbing up here for nothing, I bet.
Okay, so I shut their power off, I guess. Or if that means I'll have to turn it back on. Oh. Who saw me? Use a brick to stagger an enemy. Oh yeah, we want to do that. Totally want to stagger someone with a brick. Bandit Lieutenant. I've got his health bar, but where is he? I staggered him by hitting him in the toe. <laughs> Where's the Lieutenant? I guess that's him there, right? Maybe? Gotta get rid of those noisemaker guys. I don't want them calling for backup. Seeing things. If they noticed. You fucking with who might Oh, we got rid of the noisemaker guys. Well, well, well. Well, well, How you like me now, motherfucker? Lieutenant dead. Okay, establish the safe zone. How do we do that again? Oh, I gotta capture this thing, don't I? I have to claim the flag tower. All loot inside the bandit camp will disappear. Hmm. All right. Well, whatever. Come on, with the flag thing. Ta-da! Hopefully that doesn't include the, uh, the airdrop at the top there. Give me Jack and Joe's camp. It's mine now, baby. Man, I'm so thirsty. This place is so much less impressive now. Why did they bother breaking down all the good stuff that was here? And they just left it like a, like a hot mess. Uh, there is still a supply drop up there, though, I want to go get. Checked off, but I think they actually respawn. Bravo, Pilgrim. Bravo, Pilgrim. All right, Carl. This is your real Pilgrim. name. Where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie. Fast. Sophie? I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the Maiden. I gotta help everybody. Where's Jack and Joe? Where's Jack and Joe? They fled the camp as soon as they heard the sound of fighting. I don't know what they're planning. They said they were waiting on backup. What backup? I don't know exactly. Joe was talking about the Renegades. Remnants of the old army, stationed on the dam across town. Lately, they've been spotted at the bazaar. How bizarre, how bizarre. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go now. No time to waste. <laughs> Someone call Fox's wife. This isn't him streaming. He just made all that loot get away. Well, I don't know how much loot there was, though, I guess. I mean, there might have been some in here, I guess. I might have been able to find. Oh, well. 
minor thing. Pilgrim, I'll pray for you. Pay harder. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go help them because they're in trouble, but first things first, loot. There's an airdrop up this tower. I want to see. Uh, I want to see if it's respawned already. I don't know what what the respawn timer is like on these things, but I do know they will respawn. Fast means no stopping to loot. That's okay. There's no timer. We're fine. <laughs> they can wait. That's a few lives measured against a potential good supply drop. Oh, God. Tape there. I almost ran by. And money. I believe in money. Loot does respawn. Wait, I didn't have to reopen at that time. I do wish there was a faster way to get down from here, but go down the way we did last time, I guess. We'll drop onto these things. No, oh, that's the wrong way. Alright, where do they want us to go now? Over to there, huh? My weapon's not in the best shape. <coughs> or parkour skills. Alright, we can do safe landing so I can jump even farther down. Far jump. I might, I might take the far jump. Might be handy to jump a little farther. Thing is, you gotta vault over something first, it seems. Use an object, uh, obstacle to spring from it and launch and jump further. Tap E while jumping over the obstacle. You do like a far jump. I how much farther it will carry me. Let's let's try that out. See how it works. I'm gonna get, get used to how to do that, I guess. Let me try right here. That was pretty far. <laughs> All right, where do I gotta go here? Oh, it's that hotel I was trying to get into earlier in the game. That's so funny. That's why I couldn't get in earlier. <laughs> it was a mission point. Noise coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. Uh, uh. I have to Sophie. go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. How's it so far? I'm enjoying it so far. It's fun. There's a lot of dialogue and stuff in the game, which uh, I can maybe do with less of, but... It's been fun. Inhibitor container nearby. Inhibitor container nearby. Nothing else we need to come in here just to get the inhibitor. Oh, shit. I'm too 
too late. Are those peacekeepers? Sophie! Barty! You there? Sophie? God, Sophie, report in. They were fighting peacekeepers. That's not cool. More loot. Container nearby. Container nearby. It's farther away over this way. Container's gotta be upwards though. That was the door I couldn't open when I was here, uh, was it, last night? It's like, man, there's gotta be some way to get in here. There was, I just had to develop the story a little bit more. Sophie, what the hell is going on? Report in. Row, row. All right, the inhibitor thing's up here. So we got a box of loot. Oops. This is Star Trek Next Generation vibes. You talking about the music or the, uh, the, the the audio sound effect in the background? A little bit. Okay, Mount already five new skill XP glitches are out. Really? I haven't been keeping tabs on any of that stuff. I haven't had any uh, any bug issues that I've been running into, but... Wait a minute, how do I get in there? It's right there, like one meter away on the other side of this door. There's gotta be like a way to climb up through the ceiling or something, maybe. Door doesn't open. Come on. Don't do this to me, game. Ah! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that was a little farther down than I thought. Oh, you don't want that ladder that I kicked down is back up there. That's too funny. It did all this last night. <laughs> it reset everything because of the mission. Animus. Oh, I remember what I had to do. I had to go over this way. Up there. Get up there. There was another door downstairs, was there? Well, I'll go check it in a second, but I'm gonna see if the uh, if the upper way is open now. It wasn't open last night when I tried to do this, but it was also a little ahead of the uh, little ahead of the mission. Now yeah, it's pointing me to this door. Container nearby. You gonna kick the ladder down or what, dude? Come on, bro. There we go. There we go. See, that door didn't open last night. Yeah, but her container nearby. Ooh, looty stuff. We don't need to rescue her right away, right? We got time to loot. in the other room. Is this inhibitor I really want? There we go. Hook me up! Hopefully there'll be multiples in here. The two of them? Yeah. Got two anyway. Who's better than zero? 
Weird. Two of three. We need one more before we can upgrade that again. So we gotta go back here. That's Sophie's radio. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it, Aiden. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Oh, it's Help like that, is it? yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? Hey, Barney! Barney, wait! Aw, oh, come on, guys. I don't want to have to kill you. Take here! There's him! Oh, come here. Two hits and they're dead. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this knife is vicious. <laughs> well, I have a feeling the people at the bazaar aren't going to be our best friends anymore. But we're helping them. I got a brick. Anything else out here I can loot? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Fuck. You. Hey, buddy. Figures. But, oh, come on. Not like this. I don't want to have to kill this guy. I'm looking for Sophie. <laughs> Sophie! <laughs> Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman. Get out of my way. Uh oh. Oh, oh good job, Herman. Oh, fucking grizzly. Come on. Come on. I don't want to have to kill Herman. Sophie's not going to like me anymore. Herman, give it up. Let me talk to Sophie. Blame on Herman. Oh, he's got a backswing. All right. <laughs> was a trap or something I hit. What is there, like a generator or something? Oh, Herman died too. He like swung a hammer and hit something and it just like, there was sparks everywhere. Killed us both, what a jerk. Sorry, Herman, I didn't want you to die. You were kind of a prick. Catch! Going which way you need me, huh? It was like the ultimate power attack. Down right there. I guess I gotta, I gotta climb up this way and jump across, I guess. This is cheating. Go back and kill him properly. 
It wasn't that tough. It just Bonnie, uh kid. Find Barney. <laughs> Where'd you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. Means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. Uh oh. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. Be careful. I'll go warn Aitor. Let's keep in touch. All right, you go tell that Aitor guy. I guess we're helping him now. Um, we're now gonna go find Barney. 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 Come out. Come on, Barney. man. I will find you. We'll find you, and I will kill you. Aiden. Oh, he's got a crossbow. Nicely, shoot you in the head. cheating. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. He already knew, and she's protecting him. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aider. I don't work for Aider. I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. We're fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? We can help each other. Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Aitor promise you? If it's not you, who could have killed him? I wonder myself. Certainly none of my people. If you Barney. find out who did it, tell us. I'd like to hug the guy. Lucas deserved to die. Live too long as it is. We didn't have to kill him. We have our own plan for getting the peacekeepers out of the bazaar. Adu promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water. And I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. Will you help? There's something seriously wrong with this lady. I just killed like six of her people. No way I would help you. Ah, I don't know what to pick. All right, I'll help her. Fine, what's the plan? Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How do I get up the tower? It's almost impossible without a winch, and Joe's men sealed off access. That's why I'm asking you. So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. We won't forget this. Yeah, they won't forget it, but they won't reward it either. Wait, did they close the door again? Oh, come on, there was stuff in there I could loot. Look, there's loot right there. Lots of wine bottles, too. Okay, so we gotta go climb some tower thing now? Shoot water tower. All right. Whee! Oh, it's gonna hurt.
<laughs> I'm telling you no more loot since you take too long. That could be. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't fault them for that decision. Come on, up the slope, buddy. It's not that steep. Looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the central loop. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. I gotta get up there, I guess. All right. It's taller More than flats. I thought. Hmm. Damn. I don't know where the best point to climb is here. Oh, I guess it's actually got me into the spot there. Hit me. Look, <laughs> I little zombie up the ground over there. Apparently it's a water tower. Yeah, it was like Sophie, a... Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. How do we know they're gonna blow it up? If they do, we will have no water source. Come on, Aiden. Oh, that's how. The tower how. is mined. Try to disarm the charges. It's kind of disarmed if I just take it and put it in my pocket, because, like, what if it blows up on me later? <laughs> Trying to disarm any explosives. It's gonna label them for me, right? If I scan. I only saw the one. Look at all these canisters, though. Like, if that goes off, what a mess that'd make. I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to be climbing this just yet. Oh, here up here. Oh yeah, I guess I am. I kind of thought they'd all be at the bottom, maybe, but apparently not. Where I go from here. Oop. I think I gotta get up there, but how do I get up there? Can't jump and grab that. Hmm. Remember, it's parkour, not fall core. Oh, I can't do anything but fall core. It's gotta be inside. I gotta climb. Yep. There it is. Up we go. Come on, dude. You can do this. Oh, I see. There we go. Give me the, Here's the grappling hook. Yeah, if only, if only we had one. We were supposed to take tribute. Just collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. 
the explosive. Got it. And the water is safe. And we got one of these too, which is even better. Nice, two in there. Four inhibitors. That gives me another skill point. Not another skill point, but another uh Another upgrade level. If I upgrade... What am I at? 160? I think it adds 20, right? Is it 20 every time I add health, I think? If I do that, that'll get me up to the 180 that I need to be able to get the head stomp. So when I knock stuff down, I can stomp on them instead of uh, wasting weapon durability. So I think I'm going to go for that. Yeah, there we go. I gotta level up. No, no, oh god, oh god! <laughs> I accidentally bumped the space bar and jumped at the wrong time. That could have been bad. <laughs> Made it after all. Yeah, I read it, did. It's the ticking noise coming from your backpack. It's uh, just a little bit of C4 in there. It's, I'm sure it's harmless. Of course the fuck is up. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. We can't fight it. He's silently creeping That's in the only big window with a huge sliding thing. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Who's there? Nobody. Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! You guys are jerks. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe. Hey. Isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of oh. planning to get the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. No one's gonna die here anyway. I'm not helping you jerks. I don't bargain with extortionists and murderers. Well now, look at the saint. The Pilgrim wants to preach to us. Oh, you fucking fool. Right, call me Do Saint it, Pilgrim. Jack. Now! Goodbye, Bazaar. What? What happened? Your toys don't work? You... You did this? Of course I did you this. You pay for that. The oh! <laughs> I hit the space bar to dodge, but Want apparently it was... Still part of the story mode. Your friend's cooking! You won't take... 
Okay, hold on. I need, uh... Uh, let's see. I can use some Molotovs. Let's, uh, let's craft up some Molotovs. I love I can do this in the middle of a fight. They're like, oh, okay, what's fine. We'll wait for you, sir. Don't worry. I feel like setting them on fire is a good way to go. All right. Get alive. You got nowhere to run. <laughs> He's got a knife in his head. We'll hang you from this tower. We need, to, need a chance to swap weapons. Oh, God, no, 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 no. It's a long way down for you. Want some water? I'll drown you in it. Never killed a pilgrim before. You won't. He's burning. He's burning. <laughs> I hate to break with you, buddy, but your friend's very dead. The bread ain't coming here, huh? <laughs> Finished him with a kick. All right. Smoked him. He ain't so tough. Literally got the one guy's head off. Bunch of booze. That's no use. Turn the water back on. Gather all this stuff in case it like skips ahead through a story and makes me leave the tower as soon as I turn the water on. All right, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Nobody. I do. City alignment. When you uh, assign a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. When a faction takes over a zone, introduces its structures, peacekeepers start installing uh, combat-focused traps, while survivors build parkour helpers that make traversal easier. Oh, cool. The more facilities you assign to a faction, the stronger it gets, so it can install even better structures. The current state of city alignment can be seen on the map. All right, so this is the point where I finally got to actually start to assign alignment to different things. Alright, assigned to peacekeepers. We get car traps and we bring water to the zone. Or, we assign to the survivors, we'll get more zip lines and bring water to the zone. Car traps are neat, but I think I'm gonna go with the zip lines. I like zip lines. I'm surprised the game still looks blading mechanics. Well, that's the first time we've had that option to do that kind of a, of a assignment. But not really that surprising. I would never say that, old school. All right, unlock city alignment uh, at the zoom level. Press M to enter the map. Okay, rotate it backwards uh, to open the city alignment. Oh, okay. There's, so there's the central loop over there. Interestingly, survival ter or survivor territory. Peacekeepers actually don't have that much of the city. Uh, zoom level displays the current state of the city zones, both neutral and controlled by the peacekeepers. All right. You can find the various city rewards you receive by assigning uh, zones to factions. To assign a zone, find its facility, water, tower, or electrical station. Activate it. Assign it to the faction you want it to support. All right. So these guys get uh, UV traps. Pendulum traps, Molotov lanterns, and those are handy. Crossbow pack. Ooh. ooh. Receive a semi-automatic crossbow and a set of blueprints for unique elemental bolts. Oh, I should have assigned it to guys. Electrical traps. EK razor cannon. Car traps. So I guess it starts at the center of the car traps and goes out. Uh, these guys start with zip lines. Then we get airbags. They're just more of those jumping things. Landing bags. Oh, that's what those are for. 
We use those with the charge ability. You like hit them and use them to like fall down to street level and not take damage. I wonder what those were for. Uh, survival reward. When you fall into survivor in a survival zone, a helping hand will rise, uh, revive you close to the point at which you fell. Oh, that's handy. Air vents, nice. Upgraded airbags. All right, and then uh, two-way zip lines. Ooh, those would be handy. All right, I mean, I want the crossbow. That multi-firing crossbow would be great, but these uh, parkour things are pretty cool too. Okay, so we've got one uh, one faction assigned thing anyway. We've done two, these two zones. So I think over here in this zone was where the, the electrical plant was, right? Somewhere around here? I don't remember where it was exactly. There was a, an electrical plant that I had spotted on the map somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Neat. Hey Vox, Winter Storm has me home from work tonight, so played some DayZ and listened to the stream. The struggle's real in Zombieland, brother. Oh yeah, good old zombies. Can't go wrong with the undead. Well, you know, unless they eat you. Probably wrong. Alright. Still got side quests in there. Back on. You. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Yeah, you do that. Oh, we gotta go here. Look at the other side. Tell me there's a zip line. Look at this thing. May series protect our crops from the winter cold. Counter failed. I'm not, I'm, what? How could I possibly have failed anything? I'm way up here, man. Well, this is a tricky zip line. You gotta like, you gotta take the leap of faith to take this one. You can go search Barney's stuff. The coast is clear now. Use any excuse to uh, give me back to Icarus. <laughs> we'll be playing more Icarus. Don't worry. I still like survival games too. This is just that new thing out. So you know you gotta play with the new toy. That's how it works. No one likes the new toy. All right, I only have 500 worth of valuables, unfortunately. This guy's got junk. Unk. Twenty-three. Get that out of here. Herman's bludgeon. Poor Herman. He didn't have any chance. He was using that little thing. <laughs> All right. Remote C4. Well, the military medkit can't go wrong, I guess. Uh, immunity booster, 80% one. Yep. One of those. Buy them all. Injury gloves. Nope, yep, keep what I got. Goods. Not like you have much to lose. Nice. For me to fix it. Progress. What's the UV bar? I think it's like a flare you can throw on the ground that um, casts UV. I never believed the night runners were real. Gives you like a little uh little safe spot basically, I guess, when you're out in the night. Or maybe like even an opportunity to recharge a little bit of your UV required stuff. I think I actually have some on me. I have to test them out. Uh yeah, I got the, I got them on me. I'll try them out maybe the next time we're in a nighttime zone. Curious if they will recharge my thing. Yeah, we gotta go to the hotel over here. Think of nighttime. Hey, coming. I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower, so the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. Always sooner than we'd like. Does zombie scale with your level like they do in Dead Islands? I'm not sure. I don't think so, because there's like different zones of stuff. Um, can't say for sure, though. I turned off the zombie uh, zombie health bars and stuff, so I, I, can't, I can't tell what the level they are. 
Does this keep just like appearing there? Random bit of honey. Honey, I'm home. It'd have been funny if the uh, inhibitors were in there again. Finally, I can loot this guy's stuff. I don't want all the wine bottles, but I want the rest of it. They've been holding out on me. Down here. <laughs> that ain't no proof. That is definitely no proof. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Only a little bit. Fine. Oh. Here's something. Hey, what the hell? Oh, fuck. That's that's human skin. What'd you think it was? Hack on. I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there. We still ain't Doran. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <sighs> he punched me. Well, we finally get to kill this Raiders jerk. gotta die! <laughs> Ow! Not fair. He did with that swing. Hat <laughs> oh, it's stuck on the side of his head. Oh god, we just obliterated that poor guy. Stop it! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? A of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother... Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. It's probably Ader that Nobody did it. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. I bet you Ader did it and planted it on her stuff as a reason to be able to attack the uh, the bazaar. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? Ader got a promotion. If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skim Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But it could be Hikari. Why don't even. you want to get rid of the PKs? Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. I really don't trust her, but I kind of believe her. I don't think she did it. I don't think she did it. I I think it's more likely that Hakan planted it, or uh, or it had something to do with Aider because Aider got a promotion from the commander being killed. 
feel like he's got he's got that benefit involved there. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. Back here I can loot. Now this isn't a battle zone. Is there actually anything I can loot back here? Oh, there is. Nice. Not go down there. <laughs> then here. Well, that's weird. I wonder if that door just needs to be open from the other side. Lay <laughs> down with dogs and wake up with fleas. The trouble is, I think they're both crooked. In the sense that they're just doing whatever is best for themselves. Hey, anyway, what time of night is it? We got most of the night left. Um, but there isn't a thing I can hit up as a raid here nearby. Kind of wish I had the fast traveling. I think actually I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. It's already uh, 10 to 1 in the morning my time. And I'm starting to cough a lot. I'm having to mute a whole bunch. Um, so I'll come back. Maybe we'll play some more of this tomorrow. I have tomorrow off work again. So I'm planning to stream it again tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. Eastern time. Somewhere in that neighborhood anyway. Uh, play for a few hours again tomorrow morning and uh, into the afternoon and see how much farther we can get the things progressed along. But thanks everyone for coming and hanging out tonight. I really appreciate it. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, click on that subscribe button. It also helps if you click on the like button. Let's do help a bunch. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks again, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.